Hey guys, here's a quick demonstration on how to set up anchovy on a cable beater. Go ahead and take your brine of choice and fill up the tray. Uh, all the way. Okay, next you're going to take your cable baiter hook and you're going to smash your barb with some needle nose or pliers. Make sure to, that they're completely smashed so you do not get a big ticket by fishing game or coast guard when they pull up and check your tackle. Very, very important part of California regulations. No barbs for ocean salmon. Next step, go ahead and open up your tray of anchovies. Best to use a tray instead of a bag because these present well. They're carefully packaged. Their scales are in great condition. They're in good shape. Um, best if you can let them thaw out a little bit instead of do it frozen so you don't accidentally break the tail. Uh, handle them very careful. Try to keep the scales on there while you're breaking it apart. Next step here is the most critical. It's the biggest part of the process. You're going to be taking this needle which you're going to th uh, push through the center of the anchovy as far back to the tail as possible and you want it to come out of the mouth of the anchovy. It's very important that your anchovy is not completely frozen and not completely thawed. You kind of want it in between so that it's firm but yet you can manipulate the anchovy to be able to position it where the needle comes out of the mouth. Coming out of the mouth is important because you're going to be pulling the cable baiter through, which is the wire and the hook. Uh, on the needle, you can see there's a little hooked end which you can hang your cable baiter from and then pull the cable through the fish. The end of the cable is going to, or the wire, is going to have a small loop. That loop needs to be positioned right at the end of the mouth of the anchovy. We're going to be using a pin and wire that is going to go through the jaw, lower jaw, through the open loop at the end of the wire, and through the head of the anchovy. This captures all three of them and lets you secure them together so the bait doesn't come off the hook. The, there's the wire that's attached to the pin you use to wrap around the head of the anchovy as well as the pin to clamp down on everything. It holds it in place and prevents the bait from coming off. That is what your leader is going to attach to. The, the actual wire is flexible, so it lets you put an arc into the bait, which gives it a curved body. And as you're trolling, this creates the bait to spin and makes a crippled uh, anchovy presentation. That's what the salmon will go for. And that is exactly what you want to do for getting salmon. Next step here is taking your anchovy which you've just threaded and what I like to do is I like to take these small rubber bands, put one around the head of the anchovy to hold the gill plates closed so that as it's spinning in the water the, the gill plates aren't opening up and making the, the bait uh, or affecting the spin of the bait. I also do this to the tail to prevent the hook from tearing out of the tail. So. It's gonna, when you're trolling, there's a lot of motion happening against this thing. And sometimes I even throw a couple of rubber bands on the tail, depending on how well it went into the bait. There's the bend, and after you put the nice bend into it, put it into your brine, and you're all done. 24 hours in the brine. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video and show you the tackle that I have for salmon. I got uh, these big big guys here those are uh, flashers um, I got some small medium ones right here I got some really small ones right here where I daisy chained them together to uh, make it look like a school of, of fish uh, I got a bunch of different apexes so apex watermelon this is the most popular color and then there's black and green purple haze uh, blue right here and then you got an assortment of uh, I forget what these guys are called but they open up you pack them with bait and then there's that rubber band right there that goes on the end and holds it closed and the scent of the bait comes out through these holes here 
I hear these work well, but I've never caught never caught a fish on them or a salmon. And then, of course, you got all different kinds of heads. So you put the bait either on the wire through it, and then the head of the anchovy goes in here, and you take this pin out and push it through the head. And that's pretty much the style of all these other ones right here. Um, you just load up an anchovy, and it's, it's curved, so it's designed to actually spin in the water for you. So just wanted to kind of share, share my assort assortment. These are my older ones that caught me a lot of salmon right here. They're all beat up and tore up and chipped and everything. So I got a couple new ones because those things never fail. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this little coverage on this. I'm going to be making some leaders next. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we walked. I walked you through setting up anchovy on a cable baiter and gave you kind of a step-by-step -step process as well as kind of showed you what tackle I have for salmon fishing. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Happy to answer them. I'm not a veteran at this, but I've had quite a few years. So um, I enjoy sharing whatever information I've learned and also hearing about what other people do as well. So hope this helps you out and look forward to providing more videos in the future. Take care.